even like find flaming poop. I know they're like little flaming boulder or rocks, but it looks like poop. Everybody, Nacelle just got coach you guys with part 6 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Let's take on Crashes to Ashes, my least favorite boss in this entire game, by the way. Ah, the triumphant hero Crash, reduced to a pile of smoldering ash. Let's finish this. Wow, Crunch, good dialogue. I hate this boss fight, by the way. It can be awkward, time-consuming, and you can instantly die. So, yeah, after the fiasco they had recording the red fight in Spyro, yeah. So for the first section, you have to run away from them. And then in the second section, or like second segment of the fight, you're going to have to chase after them with this thing. So I don't actually know how you attack with it. Okay, so it's square, so you gotta get close to him, and then shoot the water, but you also slow down when you're shooting water, so you have to be careful. And then you have to do this three times. Each one gets progressively longer and more difficult. So he's gonna start throwing more and more boulders at you. Uh, eventually they're gonna start to break apart, and then during the section where you have to chase him, uh, he's gonna start leaving like behind flaming poop. I know they're like little flaming boulder or rocks, but it looks like poop. I love how like we're immune to the fire for like a brief second, so watch out. He's gonna start to leave Yeah, little fiery turds behind here. Technically I don't even think you're supposed to be able to hit him to like right around here. Oh thank god we didn't die. I that was just the suit, you know. Taking like it's an like yeah, see, now sometimes they'll break, like, when he throws them out, or when they, like, bump against other surfaces. And it's... I don't know if it's random or not, or if, like, it's every so many that, uh, do it. I'm not actually entirely sure. And, of course, you gotta do it again. So, that, that's a thing. Oh yeah, now they're gonna move, which is gonna be annoying, but whatever. Technically, if you're not right behind him like that, it shouldn't go too bad. And you don't get Aku Aku for this. Luckily, we have 59 lives, so it's not that much of an issue, but... I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can technically speed it up to get any further. I don't think you can. Maybe? I actually felt like we got there faster, so maybe we can. I love how it has a giant N on his back to, you know, resemble Neo Cortex. Oh, yeah. Wait, did he say die or buy? And whoa, what was that? Actually, I think you do gain a little bit of distance. Not much. Also, it's good to know that like you don't really actually have to go any extra distance. Like the second and third phase of the fight are the exact same, other than the fact that his trail ability there, like the one where he leaves behind, can actually hit you a little bit easier. I don't even know how that hit him, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, and Crash automatically runs too, by the way. Like I said, I don't know if he says die or buy. Clearly they want Crash dead, so I'm gonna assume die, but you know, it's also a kid's game. I believe this one's rated E10, while the other three in the series were originally rated E. Well, they might have all been rated E10. I think it took a while though before the E10 rating became a thing. Man, I remember recording this back on my other channel like years ago, and mm, my microphone got in the way. Oh my god. Like, it's not like that it's a hard fight, it's just time consuming. It's, you know, it's just how things go. At least the music here is pretty good. I 
love how Aku Aku essentially just helps you, uh... Go <laughs> ahead. I love how the elementals actually don't really do anything other than grant them brief power. Like, if this guy's always been able to, like, burn things, why didn't... Also, why wasn't his levels more on fire? I'm pretty sure the fiery levels come later. Which is pretty funny. Oh, run away. Be ashamed if I had a water gun. Do, 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 do. Water gun, water gun. Oh, we actually got him. Actually, I wonder if it's easier to hit him early on because of the fact that, uh... Don't let that poop kill me. Thank you. I was gonna be like, if that kills me because we prematurely got him, that's gonna... Wait, that one didn't break. Wait, wait, why did that one break? Why did that one break? And then that one, I'm so confused. Why did it change? All right, crunch. See, for this one, he starts ahead of you. And there we go, we killed him. We're out of here. Run, crash. Oh, is that the death tornado spin? I wonder what it's called in here. That's the death tornado spin. Nice. Goodbye, crash. And boom, another world done, and another cutscene. Cortex! Why is that mindless Masupio still collecting those crystals? He's defeated Rocco and Wawa! I'm beginning to question the value of your super weapon! I don't need another mask's help. I could take this crash punk out with my metal arm tied behind my back. Oh, Crunch. Stop being silly. Uka, he will use the elemental masks. No need for you to lose any beauty sleep. Sure. I love how they also didn't say that we beat Pyro, but we did beat Pyro. Now we're on to the Ice World, which I forget who the name of the guy is. We have Avalanche, Droid Void, Crash Droids, Coral Canyon, and Weathering Heights. So I guess we'll do Avalanche. It's a Coco level. Not very fun one, but still a Coco level. The Crash Bandicoot, eh? Oh, I've heard so much about you, and this is the hero I have to blow away? Ha! <laughs> Seems like a bunch of hot air to me. Oh, you are so funny, Mr... I forget your name. I really do. I forget his name. Hopefully this doesn't have any bad platforming. There's 113 boxes. Oh, the mu music's so campy. It's good music, though. Also, she doesn't get the Death Tornado spin. Which is really kind of sad. Oh, it's just them. I thought it was a metal box making that sound, but it's just them. I think there's a death platform here, right? I think all the Coco levels have one. At least that's how it seems, you know? Which is fine, I guess. Not at all overdone, but whatever. Alright, we got the uh, bonus platform. We'll do this. Luckily, the slopes, there's no slopes on the uh, platforms for once. Which is kind of nice. Oh, it's one of these ones. Okay, so there's 48 boxes, and yeah. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I count them out loud, because when I when I play the game by myself, I don't count them out loud. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of TNT. Huh. Oh, I see the box up there. Don't think I didn't see that one. Ooh. Alright, so we'll pull that one up. 
Which doesn't blow these up, but that's fine. So there's four, so... is it four? No, that's five, so that's all the boxes. Outside of the nitro crates, obviously. And there we go, that's a lot of boxes. 59 of 113, so not bad. Pardon me, Mr. Skeers. Let's go down this slippery slope. This is like my spiral playthrough all over again with all the slipperiness we've been going on. Watch out below. Hey, Aku Aku. Oh, wait, I guess there isn't a death platform. Never mind. Now we got the skiing part, which isn't that fun. I don't mean isn't that fun, as in, do you guys think it's fun? Okay, so. Wait. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta hold down circle. Okay. Oh no, we gotta die now. Don't tell me I'm just gonna miss that one. Oh, you know, I missed two. The thing is, it does destroy all the other boxes. It's just, we gotta get these flags for the secret gem. It's kind of a cool gimmick, but it's kind of awkward at the same time. Wait, is there even a way to die? Aw, oh, man. We can't die, so I'll have to come back for that. Well, I'll just do that off screen. We know how to get it. It's just another gem, anyway. So, eh, that was an easy level. We didn't even die. You know, this episode's going pretty, pretty good. Which is less than I can say for so for the last two Spyro episodes I've recorded. Let's go to Weathering Heights, because I think this one's a pretty decent level. We'll go check this one out. Hundred and forty one boxes, okay. Don't mind if I do. I have still have Aku Aku from the last level, that's pretty cool. Oh, I almost didn't see the one above this. Also re reuse of the same enemies, like how did I manage that? How did I manage that? God, I'm just an idiot. The music here is pretty intense for what kind of level it is though. I keep forgetting I have the double jump too. What the Bolshevik, man? I clicked the spin button. I'm clicking square, bro. I wonder if the game's actually gonna have to make us use the Death Tornado spin. In Crash 3, it did. Ugh. There we go. Now it should blow up everything, right? Hopefully that killed the... Wait. That didn't even blow that up? I'm so confused. blow those up. Nope. I can't ever blow it up if I do this. You buy every box. Actually, why do you even need the uh, the jumpy platform there? Considering... Is that Aku Aku? Thank you. Yeah, for these fan sections, you just gotta be patient. Don't worry. Patience is a virtue. As taught by schools in North America. I don't know about the rest of the world. Also, that's the first checkpoint. That's pretty insane that it took this long. Just die already, man. This section. Yay. Like, look how slow you move. Like, whoever thought of this... It's just dumb. It looks like I'm touching him, by the way. I know it's just the perspective, but still. Oh, and trust me, there's even worse parts to these sections where, like, they become electrified. One thing I do like about Death Tornado, I mean, it's really good on these sections. Also, there's a bonus down there and some invisible... Why do I have a feeling if I hit that, I won't be able to get the life? So, I hit that. 
Oh, it's TNT. So we gotta destroy that before we go onto this bonus platform. And now let's go on the bonus. I need to check the true, true, true temperature. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, man. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming this is gonna blow it up. Yep, it's gonna blow it up. Blow it to kingdom come. That's for sure. I still don't need to death tornado spin anything here. Ah, oh, I did it. Man, the foreground is kind of annoying. Oh, yay. We get to do... The I did the tippy-toe section properly there, game. Oh, poop. That's annoying. Like, I was holding down the tippy-toe like this, and you could see it, and he still took damage, because the, the game is kind of goofy that way sometimes. Oh, just missing those nitro crates back there, so we're fine. Alright, we got 91 out of 141, so we only have like 50 some to go, which isn't bad. So what the heck did I just... Oh wait, I don't need that. I can just double jump over here. Once again, perspective is kinda off in this game, which is something that a lot of people complain about, or complained about when it was a main game. They still complain about it to this day, but you know... I don't even care about that. I don't like those crates. I don't need Wumpa Fruit that badly. Alright, we only have 41 boxes to go. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, this thing is just... It's like a zit. It just fills up until it bursts. Yeah, I could hear that and I still got hit by it. That's just stupid. Ooh, there's another vent there. That's... Lame. Still have yet to need the, um, whatchamacallit. The, uh, Death Tornado Spin, that's for sure. Also, I feel like you really could have gave that to us a little earlier. Like, that doesn't really do anything. Oh god, what is this? That, the first death here, and that was just me being stupid. I love that. Like, I don't really get the invisibility boxes. And, like, why you get them so randomly. They're never in a section where, like, they really help you out that much. Like... The section before we got that box was way harder than that. There's gonna be a lot of nitro here, isn't there? Ooh. Remember how I said about, you know, those things being a lot easier to deal with? Yeah, no. And there we go! 100%. Not bad at all. I like when levels go according to plan. Super useful. Super useful. Uh, do we have time to do another episode? Coral Canyon's a pretty big one. Crash Droids is kind of a big... Well, the rest of them are all pretty big, so I think we'll wait till the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon in the link below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye, and then have a wonderful day. Peace. Also, Crash, you're looking kind of blurry, buddy. Um, I'm gonna check that out later. See ya.